Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. I hope you had a neat Christmas or Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. I just hope that you had a neat time over the holidays and hopefully the new year will be better than this one. In today's video, I'll be showing you a new feature, which is how to import new brushes in Abyss Paint, which is stuff from outside the app. To do this, you're firstly going to want to see where you'll import them to. So I'm going to want you to go down here to this dot where we usually have all the brush options. And it doesn't matter where you are, but you're going to want to press up here. And then that's where we'll be importing things. We'll press import brush QR code once we find a code. To do this, we're going to want to go onto Google. What you're going to want to do is just search Abyss brush QR code. There are probably other ways that you could phrase this though. Then what you're going to want to do is go into images, most likely unless you find an article, and you will see some of these have codes. For example, let's just go on the very first image. This is what the brush looks like. And here there is a code in the corner. So what you're going to want to do is just hold it and then download that image. And then go back onto the app, go into the brush menu again, and click where we were before. Then click import brush QR code. All your recent images will come up and you're going to want to press the one that has obviously the code. Then as soon as you do, it'll tell you that the import was completed and you'll be able to actually use it. Click OK and it will be at the bottom of your custom list right here. Then you can finally experiment. <laughs> because these brushes are custom brushes, they are usually made by people instead of someone on the company. The only issue is, of course, because these are different brushes, you can't predict if they're going to lag or not. So not all of them will work properly. But here's the one that we are using right now. It's a pretty tall brush, but it looks quite nice on the edges. The only issue is I can't seem to figure out how we're going to get to have properly thin strokes. Of course, like with anything, these new brushes are going to need to be played around with and you're gonna to need to see if you actually like the look of them. There are a bunch of other brushes you can get, so let's go and get another, just to make sure you know. So go on to Google, search Abyss brush QR code, and scroll until you find something you want to import. We are gonna be importing this one. Download the image, then go back into the app, go into the brush menu, click the three dots, and click import. Then click the image with the QR code and it will be imported. It will then be at the bottom of your custom list. Then you can finally test the brush out. The one that we just got is a cloud brush and I actually really like the look of this. With all these, I haven't used the ones that I've imported before. I just know how to use the feature and I imported a completely different brush when I was testing it out earlier. I genuinely love this brush. It's like pastel, but a bit easier to work with, I think. Also, it seems like you can blend pretty easily with this one, which is always a good thing. So that was how to import brushes. I have never had to import brushes before, but it was a nice experience and there's a lot of cool stuff that you can find. I hope you found this helpful and if you did, maybe consider supporting. Thanks for watching. Bye!